Tokenomics is an extremely powerful tool. Instead of all of the value gathering in the LP, tokenomics or attacks can shift value elsewhere. Reflections, adding liquidity, marketing, stablecoin rewards, the possibilities are endless. However, in today's video, I'm gonna show you that tokenomics are more than just a fad or a trend, but when used properly, they can fix every problem that the current crypto market faces. This is the evolution of tokenomics. Safeman was one of the first crypto projects to make tokenomics popular. Safeman tokenomics were 5% to liquidity and 5% to reflections. The reflections collected 5% of every transaction and sent those reflections out to every single holder. The idea was extremely powerful. Buy, hold, and get more and more tokens as volume from buys and sells happened. As good as reflections sounded, they only ended up benefiting certain holders. Because the early buyers had obtained so much of the supply and becoming top holders or AKA whales, they were getting far more reflections than anyone else because the reflections were distributed on how much of the supply you held. This meant that the reflections everyone was getting was only beneficial if you were able to sell them. And if others sold, they not only devalued your bag, but also your reflections as well. And that's exactly what happened. This concept of tokenomics, although it sounded powerful and obtained a massive community, ended up strengthening the number one problem in DeFi, whale dominance. Typically whales just are early and obtain a large portion of the supply. But through tokenomics, Safeman whales are greatly increasing their positions, more so than any project in existence through Safeman's tokenomics. Along comes Evergrow. Evergrow was a new project that had a high tax of 14% buy and 14% sell, and yet was still able to achieve extremely high volume and price growth. Evergrow took tokenomics and flipped it on its head. Instead of giving holders back the token, the token was converted into stablecoin, the USD, and then the stablecoin was given to all holders. This was taking the power of tokenomics and moving it towards a far better system where holders' rewards could not be devalued through selling. Now, even if the price went down, you were able to obtain your rewards and the value was preserved. As great as this step in the right direction was, the whale dominance problem had not been balanced or dealt with. Whales were not able to devalue everyone else's rewards, which was great, but there were still eating up most of the rewards by holding most of the supply. After the sell-off happened, the value in the LP had been greatly depleted and the rewards were dependent on constant volume, and therefore the rewards greatly decreased as well. And like Safemoon, there was no value left in the future outside of hoping in the success of utilities. While Evergrow created more winners than probably any product ever made at the time, through rewarding in stablecoin, it also suffered the consequences of a system that gives all value and control to the early buyers. Tokenomics had moved DeFi in a powerful direction towards making DeFi slightly more fair for its holders with Evergrow. But during that time, a project called Control Token was being built. Looking at everything Safeman and Evergrow had accomplished, Control Token pushed tokenomics to its full potential to be the first project that starts to balance whale dominance. This is Control Tokenomics. First, let's explore what the tokenomics are, then let's show how this balances the main problem everyone is facing, which is whale dominance. Sell less fees. First off, when SafeMoon and Evergrow used a tax, in order to convert that tax into value, it had to store the tax up in a wallet that built up into a sell. Basically, taxes created sell pressure on the charts. Control Tokenomics utilizes sell less fees. Sell less fees collect the value before it goes into the LP so that it can give out rewards without having to put sells on the chart from the tax from buys. This provides tokenomics without selling down the charts from buys. Taxless tokenomics. One of the biggest problems with tax tokens is that you take a hit when you purchase. Safemoon, you put in $1,000 and you got 900. Evergrow, you put in $1,000 and you got $860 worth of the token. Then if you sold, you'd have to hit pay the sell tax and take another hit with even less value. This is really one of the major downsides with tax tokens, but Control Tokens Taxless Tokenomics takes this problem and solves it by giving extra tokens on top of your purchase. 
When holders purchase through controltoken.net and use our swap, the buy fee is 15%, but we give you 20% tokens on top. So when you put $1,000 into control, even though there is a 15% buy fee, instead of getting $850 worth of the token, you'd be getting $1,050 worth of the token. So this not only covers your buy fee, but a portion of your sell fee as well whenever you decide to take profits. Delayed stablecoin. Instead of immediately giving out all rewards to every holder, control stores up this value in the future. When whales sell and leave, they forfeit their rewards to everyone else, and they have to pay into them. This builds up value that protects the future of the project and goes towards the holders rather than to the sellers. Delayed stablecoin directly addresses the number one problem in DeFi, which is whale dominance. Whales are rewarded for selling down projects and typically are able to eat up all of the value on the way out. Tiered tokenomics. This is one of the most powerful innovations of tokenomics to date. As a project's price goes up, later holders get less and less tokens at higher and higher price. This ends up creating pyramids where one system is benefiting one group of people for being early. Control's tiered tokenomics creates new systems at higher price points that shifts value to only the new buyers at those higher price points. This in essence pulls value away from buys going towards the first system and shifts value towards the second one. Basically it's like launching a new token utilizing the same token at a higher price point. This allows for a whole new set of holders to become dominant in a new system of value without competing against all the holders above them. It takes the pyramid structure and directly changes it to make it more fair for later buyers. This also solves the last biggest problem with tax tokens, which is maintaining volume. By utilizing tiered tokenomics, you can incentivize constant volume because significant value is going to new buyers. Typically, your holders don't want to buy more, they just hope that new people continue to buy until they decide to sell. But if you are creating a new system that shifts significant value to new buyers, then everyone inside and outside the project is incentivized to participate because there is so much value going towards buying the token instead of only having to be early. Dynamic tokenomics. Control's dynamic tokenomics takes a completely different approach for DeFi and sees projects as being at different stages, so that each stage requires a different set of tokenomics to best benefit that stage. Control token started as just an idea, but now has become a reality. Control has moved beyond just a token. Control has utilized tokenomics to balance the main problems in DeFi, but Control is building a tokenomics utility to bring these same solutions to every project in the DeFi world. It's also building a chain where control tokenomics can be pushed to boundaries DeFi has not seen before. Projects can build 30, 40, 50% value into different liquidity systems that go towards those who help the project grow rather than selling. An entire generation of new cryptos will be made that can push the boundaries on balancing whale dominance, selling versus holding, uniting communities versus dividing them, and shifting all of DeFi away from speculation pump and dump towards community and purpose-driven projects. Join the control movement today and help us make DeFi better. Join Control Token at www.controltoken.net using our swap and get the extra 20% tokens on top and join Control Chain at seed.controltoken.net today.